I gave it to him for his birthday. And when he opened it up, he said, well, honey, I love it, but this isn't what I wanted. That's the worst <laughs> he could say. I did not say that. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This week, we are gonna talk about the GoPro Fusion 360 that my wife purchased me. Truth is, me and the uh, GoPro have a love-hate relationship. It sure does. Okay, okay, now run, run. <laughs> I gave it to him for his birthday. And when he opened it up, he said, well, honey, I love it, but this isn't what I wanted. That's the worst <laughs> he could say. I did not say that. Possibly. Yes, <laughs> you, you did. You did. I, so I spent, I remember this distinctly because his family was here for a weekend and uh, we had just gotten Serenity down for a nap and his mom and I were in the living room and I was using my phone and my laptop and I'm searching up what's the best camera for filming, you know, videographers use to take, oh, on the go shots and I know you wanted a GoPro so I was looking in that area and it came up with the GoPro, GoPro Fusion 360 and uh, I mean to me it looks fine but I also am not a videographer, I don't do any of this on a regular basis so I bought it for him and I got him the extra battery and the GoPro stick that came with it and all the little gizmos and gadgets and he uh, opens it up and he says honey I wanted a GoPro but this isn't what I wanted and I'm like <laughs> I wasn't you, that you, harsh yes you were <laughs> um, and then he tries to of course backpedal and he's like but I still love it I'm still gonna use it and he says but maybe for Christmas I'll get you know like the GoPro Hero 8 or whatever and uh, now he really is looking at another GoPro because he's adamantly said from day one from the first moment that he opened the GoPro uh, Fusion that he's like I want a different GoPro you just totally bashed me I did <laughs> for like 10 minutes let's be honest in this respect you deserve a bit of bashing no so the reason why that I was uh, a little thrown off by this camera is because A, it got a lens on both sides. There's no display on here whatsoever. So I had, I had no clue what to do with the 360 camera when this came. You want to show them how to put that on your four wheeler? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's show them how we put that on your four wheeler. Here. That way we can film you. <laughs> what I have here is just a standard GoPro mount to put this on her four wheeler. And we'll throw this on there and that way I can get some close up shots of her on the four wheeler. I used this setup before on my cousin's uh, jet ski here. And this worked out great. It was probably the most nervous I got with using this camera. Wasn't sure if I was gonna get it back or not, but these are just your standard uh, GoPro mounts here and they work great. They don't go anywhere, they don't come off. He was probably doing 70, 70 miles an hour with that on his jet ski. for that fire hydrant there. She loves fire hydrants. My guess is that she'll get off the four wheeler here and then she'll hug the fire hydrant. That's my guess. I'm at a distance. I would say my guess is right. Did you hug the fire hydrant? Yeah! 
no, oh no, oh no, oh no. You got, you got to go in reverse. I had some researching to do and I have to say that this has actually become one of the favorite cameras for me to use as we're videoing. I'm still learning a lot about this 360 camera. I use it in the basic uh, 5K. 30 frames per second. <laughs> <laughs> On vacation this year, it was just, it was pretty awesome. It, probably, I would say 50 to 60 percentage of the footage that you see in our vacation video at the beach came from the GoPro. So I figured I better get the camera out and film some of this. Okay, he's in. Fuck them up, boy. We were able to take it out there on the waterway and it was just, we had fun with the tubes and everything and having this camera out there and it, it took a beating out on the water and that was fun. Don't look at me, I wasn't there. I was not present. If you notice at that beach then, vacation, I was not present, okay? I had to work that week. It was my first week back at work. So don't look oh. at me when you're referencing the beach vacation. And then if we go back to the road trip, I mean, my grandpa even picked up the camera and started using it as well. Do you know how to work that thing? Do you even know how to work that thing? But it's that you're filming to two different SD cards in here, to two different screens, and in post-production, you're stitching that all together. So I can do a day of filming and it's going to take a good two, three hours to stitch all that footage together. Most of the time I drop it into the computer and I get everything stitching together and I go to bed. And then it's ready for me to start working with and editing the next day. So like I say, this week uh, we I've also been out with Serenity. We went to this caboose and she was climbing around the caboose like she owned the place. Like say, the purpose of today's video was just to give you guys an idea of the GoPro 360, what we use for probably 50 to 60% of the footage that we actually get for our videos. So like say, right here is the GoPro 360 and 90% of the time, this is what's actually happening with the GoPro 360. As you can see, it's just right here in front of me, not trying to get any particular angle. I'll worry about that in uh, post-production and we just, uh, Put it out in front of us here. We go ahead and do some filming. We talk to everyone. She gives me my stuff back. You want to hold the camera now? Okay, sit down. Okay, go ahead and say bye bye, everyone. Bye bye, everyone. See you next time, everyone. Can you can you count? So we're here at Stillman Park, last minute decision to come out and fly the drone.
guys, if you like the content, please hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs>